Hey guys, Larry from Lemmy Electric. Just wanted to show you one of our uh, generator installs we just got done today. Uh, this is a 20kW Generac generator. And uh, it's a whole house system, so it's a little different from a portable one. This one actually starts itself up uh, if there's a power outage. So you don't have to plug in any cords, um, worry about any gasoline or anything like that. It runs off of natural gas. And here's the gas line we have in right here. And again, it's 20 kW, so it puts out about 83 amps. And uh, it's got a couple nice features here. On the side of the door here, you have a 100 amp disconnect for your power coming off the generator. And you have a little 15 amp. That's for a GFI. So you can plug something in out on this side of the house outside if you have a power outage, which is really nice. It has a lockable hood. There's another lock on the other side of this. So this can keep locks from the kids getting into it. And um, underneath the hood here, there's a couple things to, to notice. One is the generator. It's the generator down in there where it says hot. Underneath there it is. Uh, this is an OHVI motor. It's made by Generac. Okay. And it does take oil. So it does need servicing once a year. It has an air filter in it and oil and uh, things of that nature to look into. And it has a programmer. What this programmer does is it, uh, you program this to exercise the generator, meaning it'll start. Um, I have it set for once a week, uh, 2 o'clock on Monday, and it'll start once a week. And what it does is it just keeps the oils flowing, keeps itself working real well. Uh, you know, it's like a car. If you leave it sitting for a long time, things just start breaking down. So these things need to be exercised to keep it uh, keep up on uh, keep up on speed with everything. All right, it's got a little soundproofing going on in there. And it's very streamlined. You know, it's not square. It's more like a rounded oval type thing. Uh, but the technology with this is just awesome. And you can shut it off if you want. If you go away and you don't want it running, you can shut it off or you can manually start it if you want. That's the fuse for the battery. Okay. And the battery's down there in the compartment. You've got to take this lid off and there's a battery in there. And it has its own charging system with it. So I'll take you inside and I'll show you guys uh, the controls and how this puppy works. Okay, guys, here we are down at the ATS switch here. Uh, we install this, we install this big junction box here, and basically what happens is the power comes in this meter here, goes through the meter, goes through this box, and goes up to this breaker up here. Goes through the breaker, down through this box again, and ties in all the electrical panels, all the electrical panel feeds. Okay? In the event of a power outage, there's a solenoid in here, and it switches up and down from power to utility. It'll switch sense that the utility's off and then the generator lines are right here they'll come in and they'll feed uh, all the panels in the house and what we did was I actually had to build a little partition wall here not a partition but uh, just a nice backward wall to mount all this stuff on and uh, we ran some conduit see the conduit over here it runs along here up there around down the wall and out the window and we have a 100 amp line going through this conduit um, the reason why we ran the conduit like we did on the window is so that you can open the window we were actually going to take a pane of glass out uh, but that wouldn't work out too good because the gas guys and me uh, were working different times so whoever was done first would have it closed up and one of us couldn't get back in that little window while you see out there we had to actually get out there and run the pipe as well sneak it up through that grate up there so he did the same thing on his side. And now the window can be opened if we have to get in there for any reason. Um, here's the gas line here. And it's tapped off uh, right close to the main. A three inch main coming in this house. Three inch gas main in a home. It's unbelievable. But it is a big home and everything is gas in here. And we like to keep everything in pipe. I could have ran just regular cable, but uh, we do everything in pipe for the generator. Makes for a nicer job. But uh, this is the ATS switch. It has a real nice cover for it. Let me put the cover on here. The cover will go on there like that. It'll look all nice and neat. And uh, that's about it, man. And it starts up on its own. Um, you know, the customers here and the lights go out and the lights come back on in about 30 seconds or so um, doesn't take too much time for this thing to change over and snap back to uh, grid or utility power it's pretty damn quick 
but uh, it's a real nice system. And if you're looking for a backup generator system, uh, we're definitely the pros to do it for you. Um, the customer is extremely happy. And uh, now she's got backup power for a very long time. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks, guys.